Hey guys, how's it going? The funny thing about this is, <laughs> I don't know if it's because of this amazing light that's coming in from my, um, uh, from my kitchen. It actually is very bright. And for those of you that are laughing, um, I actually catch a lot of flack from my friends and family when I constantly wear sunglasses, even if it's like, um, I don't wear them inside, not that much of a dork. Um, but if I wear, if it's like not even a sunny day, I think that's what it is, is it's sunny and, and I have my blinds open and the, um, uh, the sun is reflecting off the snow, so it's deadly bright, but I have blue eyes, people. And when you have blue eyes, um, this is a scientific fact <laughs> in some ways, um, when you have blue eyes um, instead of brown, you're uh, like, I'm very sensitive to bright lights, so I have always, um, even when it's like um, not sunny, but it's just an overcast day, I always wear sunglasses. When I drive in my car, I have the um, head thing down, the visor down. So forgive me if I'm squinting, but furthermore, I'm a little, maybe it's just the fact that I hadn't had any color. I, I've gone tanning a couple times since I've been home. I just feel like I'm looking at myself here. I look so much darker. I, I mean, I'm not complaining necessarily, but it was weird to turn this on and I was like, do I have a filter on? I don't. And I didn't do anything weird, like put, you know, some crazy self tanning cream on or whatever. But anyway, um, I'm just getting ready to um, go in and I'm actually kind of taking an easy day today. And I'm going to do one of my, um, what's it called? I forget. Kind of uh, more like a ballet bar type of a thing um, because that's what I feel like doing today. But a couple of things. I I figured I would come in here and shoot this quick um, <laughs> DVD. <sighs> um, shoot a quick video. It is, it is today, Friday. So it's the Friday after Christmas. Um, and I actually... I probably shouldn't share this um, because it's kind of like a, a massive bummer. Um, it's been a weird morning. I, I woke up today and on Facebook found out that um, a friend of mine, somebody that I hadn't been, you know, close with or in touch with uh, recently, although, you know, just casual Facebook conversation, uh, but she passed away on Christmas Eve. So that was really, I've spent like an hour in uh, with all my workout stuff on, an hour on Facebook, um, just kind of trying to find out what happened. but. Um, obviously very sad for her family. Um, I actually have several friends that I know that have had uh, a death in the family in some way um, over the holidays. So, you know, it's always good to be sensitive to people that are dealing with, and gosh, then, you know, every Christmas um, and every holiday you remember that. You remember that this person, you know, passed away. A friend of mine also, her, her dad had um, stroke, somebody else, their uncle died. Um, so, you know, I certainly have been <sighs> counting blessings and so on and so forth. But one of the things that um, has been on my mind a lot, and again, I took the day off yesterday because of it. I'm doing a, a much lighter training today. I had a massage last night. Is this whole, and I wanted to update you guys. Because I'm sure that it's something I'm going to be spending a lot more time researching and figuring out some good answers to. But um, clearly, sadly, this whole Achilles situation has not left me. Um, I, you know, I have not had the. Um, sorry, I'm a little slow this morning. I haven't had. It's not a situation. Um, I haven't had the incident happen where you know, like my Achilles that, you know, they say that's when you're screwed is when your Achilles pops or, um, I don't know if it breaks or whatever. Um, I haven't had that happen, but, and, and I don't have the situation where I get up every morning and I go to walk and it, it's painful. You know, I've done a lot of reading up on this whole topic, um, of late and I don't have that. It, it tends to be kind of, um, random. Um, random, but in some ways somewhat regular, that it's kind of peeping back in. Um, it was originally on my right ankle area, and now it's t it tends to be a little bit more on my left. Now, some people have said, you know, well, maybe you were kind of leaning on, on one foot more than the other, and that's why it's moving here and there. Anyway, all that said, it certainly is making me aware. This looks very strange. It's making me very aware of um, 
really everything. Because again, when I first heard, when I was like, oh, it's moved from my right, my right ankle area more so to my left, and then someone said, oh, well, you're probably overcompensating, you're standing this way. I mean, that kind of brings back, I feel like this is too low. It kind of brings back, um, you know, uh, something that somebody said to me a while back, maybe it was Corey when he was first, um, when I had that, the shoulder injury, and it's something I think preventatively you guys can pay attention to, you know, learn from, from my issues, and that is, I'm going to stick to under 10 minutes today, stick into one topic. We're just going to talk about the Achilles today, I think. Um, but anyway, you know, if you're, not, if you're not paying attention, this is a theme I'll talk about too later in so many ways, because if you could see my counter right now and what's going on here, you'll see that I'm addressing um, paying attention and focus and all of that, things you might never have heard from me before or thought. Focus equals Kelly Alexa. See, I'm doing it again. I'm getting off on track. Anyway, um, back to the Achilles. You know, there's things that if you're if you're not like anything, if you're trying to form new habits, if you're trying to get rid of old habits, if you're if you're working on improving yourself, your mind, your body, whatever, it's not something that you. I've talked about this before. It's not something you do once and you're finished. You know, if you go to something like a Tony Robbins seminar and you come away and you're like, wow, I've had all this, you know, insight and blah blah blah. It's not something that you leave and it's, it's an imprint on your life forever. There is something to be said about repetitiveness and consistency, whatever you do, training, diet, whatever. And if you get away from that, your results will show, right? Okay? So there's something to be said about, for example, you know, I had come back from the, the Tony Robbins seminar. Excuse me. I just chugged my pre-workout. Um, I'd come back from the Tony Robbins seminar, and about a month later, I purchased one of the, um, I don't know what it's called, it's sitting over there on my thing, um, but it's like supposed to be a, a program you work through for a month, and it's been sitting around here with me having every intention of wanting to go through it, you know, listening to the CDs, working on the, the um, worksheets, and I've said it, you know, I remember I took it with me to Miami, if that tells you how long I've had this. I took it with me to Miami going, okay, when I'm in Miami, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to listen to a CD every single day, blah, 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 and then it doesn't happen. So intentions kind of don't mean much if you don't have a plan and a schedule and you, you haven't really actually mapped it out, okay? We all know that, but it's becoming crystal clear to me on so many things. In fact, I'll just reference, and then I'm getting back to my Achilles thing, you know, what's here on my counter. <laughs> um, I put this up on Instagram, but I actually have... You know, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, probably six. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, that's the watch. Mother of God, what just happened there? Oh, that's the, see? All for you, guys. Um, I have all of these watches and a lot of my polar heart rate monitor things that, that are all out of batteries. They have been sitting in a plastic Ziploc bag by the back of my door, I'm at 830, by the back of my door with every intention where I'm like, okay, set it by the back door, one of these days I'll go out and I'll get all of my batteries. It's probably been sitting there. This watch alone, I have needed a battery for this watch for probably a year and a half. And what I did is I just stopped wearing a watch. I'm like, oh, I need a battery. And I just never went and got it because I think, oh, I don't have time for that. And like so many things, like my tendency with grocery shopping, like anything, you don't pay attention to it. With my Achilles situation, see, believe it or not, I'm bringing it back to the Achilles. You don't pay attention to things until something like this wakes you up. Now, I don't have any choice. I went for a massage last night and she was, you know, working really hard in the back of my legs and my calves and I was like, sweet mother of God. But, you know, she said, you're building up scar tissue in there and, you know, from what, she, she also works at a chiropractor and um, sometimes I hesitate to share stuff like this because I know, and, and this is, it gets on my last nerve, every time I share something like that, oh, this person said this, I'll have five people, you know, having to rush in and correct what that person said. Oh, well, she's not doing it that way. Like, I mean, it's like, this is why sometimes I don't want to talk about what I eat or what I work out because it's been a mistake for me in the past to pay too much attention to all of these people that feel the need to insert their opinion or why that person's wrong or this person's wrong. 
I'm not listening anymore, okay? I choose to do the research that I want to do, pay attention to the doctor or the therapist or the chiropractor or whoever, that's what I'm doing. I, you know, I cannot allow myself to get distracted, which happens on its own anyway, as you know, um, by 18 million people that feel the need, the need to say that their way or their approach is right versus what somebody else has told me, okay? But the thing is, is with this Achilles situation, it's clearly not gonna go away. This started with me, if I recall, um, when it first started, it was the end of August, because if, if I'm remembering correctly, it was pretty much September and October, and then early November, right before I went down to um, Miami and, and Orlando, that I was you know, not doing any cardio, no yoga, all of this stuff. Well, guess what? It's the end of December, and I'm still having the issue. So all that said, now I'm being forced to pay attention to things like, you know, looking at the totality of, of how I work out, where I work out, how I'm standing, you know, posture. If you guys, if we don't pay attention to, to little things like that, they end up being big things. So, you know, something simple like posture or how, I don't know if, you, if you're like me in the past, I always, you know, if I'm just standing, A, I would tend to stand like this. And you might not think that's not standing up straight. This is standing up straight, okay? I also tend to, I'm doing it right now, I tend to lean on my right leg. If you lean on your right leg your whole life, you're putting more weight on that leg. You're, I mean, that's gonna affect your hips, it's gonna affect how your shoulders are here, everything. I mean, I'm just paying more and more attention to the fact like, wow, yeah, I stand on my right foot all the time. With your hands, the past couple of times I've gone in uh, for a massage, you know, they'll, they'll talk about, you know, how this arm, which is your mouse arm for me, or your mouse hand, you know, this hand is, eat, whether you have the most ergonomically correct um, tools or not, this hand is always on, and then it made me think about my desk. My hand is always here, the way I'm sitting is here. I know that I sit in my office. I tend to sit my butt on the edge of a seat. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I think the way I've, I've, I've always sat on the edge of chairs like that because I have very thick thighs and I've thought, you know, someone's gonna laugh at that. I can't believe you, that shallow, get over it. Um, I have always tended to sit on the edge of chairs because I was so paranoid. I remember <laughs> seeing Julia Roberts on some interview. This was like 10, 12 years ago on like the late night show or something and she had a really short skirt on and she had, I mean, you could just see the cellulite. And of course me, I was like, she should have been sitting differently. Because pretty much any woman, whether you're, you know, have a little bit of fat or a lot of fat, if you sit a certain way and your, your thighs go down, you'll have, you know, the cottage cheese look. So I think unconsciously or consciously, I've always tended to sit on the edge of the chair with my butt on the edge of the chair. Well, guess what? That, the, the amount of time that I sit in my office, I gotta close it up. The, the fact that I sit on my chair that way and I'm leaning a certain way, all of this stuff adds up because I find myself when I go for a massage or when I do yoga now, I, you know, my right hip, my right glute has so much more, I don't wanna say pain, but where I'm like, oh my God, you know, and I'm, I'm tending to need to do a lot of stretching and lean away from it. it you gotta pay attention to how you sit, how much, you know, they say now that sitting is the new smoking. There's something to be said about that. How much time do we spend sitting and when we're sitting, are we sitting up straight? Are we making sure during the day that we're stretching out? I mean, let me tell you people, this is stuff that I am going to focus on more and more and more because you see how, you know, who knows, this whole Achilles situation with me has probably been developing for a while. And the fact that I'm noticing how I feel in my lower back, in my glutes, um, I need to take corrective measures. Um, I, I mean, this is all good when you learn a lesson, and this is why I'm sharing it with you guys, because Clearly that, you know, this is not something that's going to just pop, go away. I'm going to have to deal with it. Rehabbing it, stretching um, before and after all of my training, um, active release, all of that kind of stuff. But, hey, you live and you learn. And the point is learning, right? Now I have to go. These birds are crazy out back. But anyway, I will uh, be shooting more videos later today. And um, I actually am very excited. A lot of stuff to talk to you guys about, but I will 
Um, that said, and I will also be using my Samsung versus this, but I will also have batteries for this, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, okay?